Hello friends, welcome to Nigira Techies. This video I am going to explain how to upgrade our application into Angular 15. So in the last week, Angular introduced the latest version Angular 15. It includes some new features and also performance improvements. So a lot of things was there. So that we can discuss in the separate video. So this video mainly I am going to focus on upgrading our application into Angular 15. So before going to the implementation, let me complete the system requirement. So the first thing is we have to upgrade your Node.js. So I hope you have the installed Node.js. So try to uninstall and install the latest one. So basically this Angular 15 will support for below Node.js versions 14.20, 16.13 and 18.10. So the main thing is it will support the latest version of Node.js. So I recommend try to install the latest version of Node.js. Okay. So just to go to the official site of Node.js, take the latest version, I mean the recommended version. So the 18.12 was there. So once the download is completed, try to install this package. So accept the term. Just install it, okay? So basically this will take some time. And one more thing, so in this Angular 15 does not support for below Node.js versions. So in case if you have this Node.js 14, so the 15 to 19 version are going to support. And if you have the version is 16, then 16.10 to 11, I mean 10 to 12, it's not going to support. So anyway, it will completely support for the latest version. So I suggested to install the latest version, okay? Okay, the Node.js installation is completed. Now we can verify. So Node version is 18.12. And the similar way we can check this uh, NPM also. So NPM is 8.12, okay. So the next thing is we have to upgrade our Angular CLI. So hopefully we have the existing Angular CLA. So try to uninstall first. So otherwise we will get some catchy kind of issue. So we not specified the version. Then it will take the automatically latest version. Okay. Okay. The installation gets completed. Now I am going to use this ng version command. So we can check the installed version of Angular CLA. Okay, great. Our Angular CLA version is 15.0 and we have this Node.js and Package Manager NPM. So everything looks good. Now let me go to my application. Okay, this is my created application. So if you noted here, we can see the version is 14 only. Okay. So now I'm going to convert this into 15. So here we can search like Angular Upgrade Guide. So the first link, I will share that link also in this description. So our intention is so we plan to upgrade 14 to 15 So in case if you have the lowest version just to do like this, okay? So if you are choosing the lowest version, there is no problems. We cannot upgrade directly We have to move step by step for this example. I taken 12. Okay, so that means first I have to convert my application to angular 13 so once it's completed we have to update into Angular 14 so then only we can complete to up to the 15 okay so here they will provided all the guidelines okay so, you know so whatever mentioned the same thing only so first upgrading to 13 and it will say the requirement so node.js 12.20 it's required anyway we have the latest versions fine and some of the changes was there right for every upgrade that information they will provide we can parallelly cross check okay so anyway, our application in Angular 14 only. So we can directly update. So here we have the list steps only. So as I mentioned, this Node.js version. So we have completed this step. And the second one is TypeScript. So when I'm upgrading this application, so automatically this uh, TypeScript also going to update. So let me take this command. We can execute here. Okay, repository is not clean. Please commit or stash any changes. Okay, we have some changes. So let me commit this one. 
okay now let me execute the command once again and guys uh, if you have the lower version please note one more thing so you may have the dependency okay that will causing the issue so avoiding that you have to use this force also at the end okay but if you are uh, moving 14 to 15 it's not required so if you are dealing with a lower version try to use this command also okay so okay the installation in progress now we are able to see right so so previous version is 14.2.8 now we are upgrading to 15 so the similar way this CLI and all the libraries we can see this common compiler core so everything should be included so in this application actually I am not used material UI in case if you have the material UI you have to upgrade manually okay so the command is very simple ng update at angular slash material so you have to mention the version so if you are not mentioning the version it will take that latest version okay so that is the concept here okay great the installation gets completed it is loading so that means it is providing some kind of notes for our reference so the first thing is so the browser list configuration file has been removed so that matches the angular CLI default configuration okay they are uh, so instead of having this separate file they are uh, moved into our default configuration great and then they have removed this package angular slash platform server and we have some lot of changes anyway as I mentioned we can see in the separate video so now we are completely upgraded our application into angular 15 so let me execute one more command ng update so it will collecting all installed dependencies okay finally we have this message okay great so we analyzed your package.json everything seems to be in the order good work so there is any dependency it will say we have to install it manually okay that is the concept here so anyway angular related packages are gets installed i mean upgraded so similar way if you want to upgrade some other packages like bootstrap ng toaster so you have to upgrade everything in this manually now we can see these changes so the first one is browser list is removed and then in this package.json see everything is upgraded into 15 okay so whatever previously in this 14 it is just removed and also our TypeScript Pre previously it is 4.7 now it is upgraded into 4.8 okay and let me move on this ts.config uh, file so here the target is changed previously it was ES2020 now it is ES2022 okay and then included one more flag so use define for class field gets its false okay and finally in this test.cs file so here so here the required content is not required and also this one okay so that means simply they are did a lot of optimization in order to improve our performance now I am going to run this application we can verify so once you are upgraded you, you will get some kind of red mark but actually these are not an error so anyway let me run the application we can verify I hope it will work okay it's running fine so let me open here okay great our application is running okay so this is the way we have to upgrade our existing older version of angular application now let me show you how to create the brand new application is angular 15 okay and this is the very straightforward thing only we are not going to do anything additionally anyway let me do this one also so let me copy this path here I am going to use the same command ng new then our application name angular 15 okay okay it is asking do you want router yes and CSS so then it will install the required packages the procedure is same only 
so once the installation gets completed we can open from our VS code okay the installation gets completed now we can open our application so if you are good with an angular footing this is nothing okay so let me refresh the screen yeah so now angular 15 app is running we have the same template only so anyway the important step is we have to follow these steps for upgrading our application so i will share that link also in this description you have to watch it so now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching